I'd like to discuss our latest actions against the Iranian regime. Today, I'm directing the Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo, to notify the U.N. Security Council that the United States intends to restore virtually all of the previously suspended United Nations sanctions on Iran. It's a snapback, not uncommon. Two years ago, I withdrew the United States from the disastrous Iran nuclear deal, which was a product of the Obama-Biden foreign policy failure, a failure like few people have seen in terms of the amount of money we paid for absolutely nothing and a short-term deal. This deal funneled tens of billions of dollars to Iran, $150 billion, to be exact, plus $1.8 billion in cash, which I don't know that the President had the authority to give. It gave $1.8 billion in cash. Just another great deal that turned out to be a total disaster that would have uh, funded all of the chaos and the bloodshed and the terror in the region and all throughout the world. And I won't say anything because I don't like saying it, but Iran doesn't have so much money to give to the world anymore, to the terrorists, to give to Al-Qaeda and various other groups of people that they were funding. They have to keep their own regime together, and it's not easy for them. And if and when I win the election, within the first month, Iran will come to us, and they are going to be asking for a deal so quickly because they are doing very poorly. But that deal was a disaster. $150 billion, $1.8 billion in cash. And we got nothing except a short-term little deal. A short-term, expiring, starting to expire already. It's terminated, but it would have, if we didn't terminate it, start to expire very shortly. A good deal was the deal we made with UAE and Israel. And by the way, other countries, I will tell you now, want to come into that deal. Countries that you wouldn't even believe want to come into that deal. And all of a sudden, you're going to have peace in the Middle East. And you couldn't have done it with this ridiculous Iran nuclear deal, as they call it, that President Obama made, along with sleepy Joe Biden. 